Okay, hi. So it's 4 a.m. I'm exhausted because I got about two hours sleep and I am about to head to the airport and I'm on my way to go to Byron Bay to do my yoga teacher trainers course. So this should be good. Um, I'm going to keep you as updated as I possibly can and I will, I'm planning on vlogging hopefully every night um, and I'll keep you updated on the things that we learn and do and a little bit of the emotional journey as well, I have no doubt. Um, yeah, so you'll be seeing more from me soon. Bye. Just grabbing some snacks first, some bananas, apples, blueberries, and away we go. like pink. Our whole room yeah. is, is pink. It's very girly. I feel sorry <laughs> if there's going to be a guy in here. Um, yeah, and so we're off to look at the toilets because apparently you don't flush, you put sawdust in and close the lid. How does that make you feel? Oh, awkward. <laughs> it's a learning curve. Are you excited? Not about the toilet. About, about, the, about the journey in general? Yes. I think the journey... On a scale of 1 to 10. 10 about the journey, 2 about the toilet. <laughs> First meal, we got some Thai sweet potato soup and some yumminess. I don't even know what that was. Kale, broccoli salad, rice, tofu, something. It's so cute. So we finished our first class. Um, it was, it went really quick. It was like two hours just kind of like flew past, hey. Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit more relaxed anyway, already. And then now we've got dinner, and then we've got meditation, and then we've got to be asleep by nine. Yep. And then Lights awake, awake really by up. like five. <laughs> um, we've got an extra roommate now. We've got Claire. She sleeps here, and that's mine, and that's Gemma's. Um, yeah, so I'm just about to go and have a shower, and then we'll be in bed, lights out, and hopefully waking up really, really early and energized. All right, so this is day two of yoga. This is our other roommate, Claire. Hi. Um, <laughs> and we're off to yoga at 6 a.m., and we'll be back at 8 p.m. Here he is. So we've got our own veggie patches. There's a lot of tomatoes. Got some. That's aubergine. Is that eggplant? Oh, yeah. There's a big one too. That's um. We got a whole bunch of herbs and mints and flowers and heaps of the flowers here are edible. Hey. Yeah, we ate those. What are these? Oh, they're more aubergines. Look at them when they're little. <gasps> they're so cute. There's so many plants. Kale. More aubergines. They are huge, aren't they? He's huge. It's literally like bigger than my face. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have officially finished day three of my yoga teacher trainers course here in Byron Bay. I would definitely say the highlight here is a mix between three or four things. One would be just like generally the atmosphere. Two would be the people that I'm here with. It's so much fun, especially like now we're on day three. We've kind of all got to know everyone really well, and it's 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 really lovely being able to share. I don't know. I guess an experience like this with someone because we're all vulnerable, we're all learning, we're all growing, and we're all going through it together. So being able to relate with people like that is it's really nice. Like it's really nice. Um, the teachers would be the third one. The teachers are just the teachers are incredible. They're, they've got so much knowledge. And yet they're so humble, like they understand that yet yeah, they don't know everything, but they're willing to share what they do know with us. Um, and I love that, like they're all, they're all so much fun and they all have different um, teaching strategies and ways, but also like the way that they actually teach their own yoga classes. Um, it varies dramatically, but I love each of them for all completely different reasons. Uh, so that's really enjoyable. And then the fourth one I would say is the Food. The food here is incredible. It's so good. They do, it's a full sattvic diet, which um, pretty much means no um, no meat of any kind, no cigarettes, no drugs, no um, anything that's, um, ta I think it's called tamas, or tamas, tamasic, um, which is kind of like, like bad for you, cruel, that kind of thing. And then there's, um, yes, yeah, so it's all, it's all good. It's all, um, 
there is cheese and dairy and stuff like that, but there's also like vegan options and stuff like that if that's what people prefer. And it's all clean. They they grow most of the, their produce on the farm here themselves, and it's amazing. You can just walk through it for, for like we walked through it the other day for like an hour because there's just so much stuff like there's aubergines, there's so many lettuces and kales and um, there's even chilies, like it just there's everything out there, it's amazing. Um, and yeah, and then the stuff that they whip together in the kitchen is just incredible, and especially because they're cooking for like 40 people, like plus 40, 50, probably 60 people for every meal. So kudos to the kitchen hand, if that is you, I commend you highly like that's amazing I love you I I love you <laughs> it's amazing how much you literally do just eat sleep breathe work play read sing um, just speak yoga here like absolutely everything you do is yoga it's so good here I, I love it like it literally just reminds you what it is to live simply like you don't need anything materialistic you just have your yoga gear and then that's literally it like we've just we've got like these rooms that you share with other people and you get to know them so well I absolutely love Gemma and Quaid the best things ever I literally I love them so much and I'm I'm really really glad that they're here and here's one now she's back from her shower Yay. I was telling them how much I love this place and how much I love you I was literally just telling them how much I love you Yay. come and say hi this is Gemma. Hello. I love her. I'm clean now. <laughs> We're slowly but surely getting through it. And I will talk to you maybe tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> the after the storm. That's so pretty. Good morning. So today I woke up like 5 a.m. and I was like wide awake and then buzzing ever since. And today's the day that we teach. And what else is new, Gemma? Um, we have training teaching all day. And we're excited. So this is our backyard, we've got a pool, a big old garden, lots of flowers and veggies, this is the kitchen area, got lots of sunflowers, they make me happy. This is everyone studying. And then this is our kitchen. We do allow our own washing up. Endless teas, hot water, sinks, washing up our yoga room. And they're making dinner by the looks of it. Got a nice big grassy area. And then these over here are where we stay. And then down the front, we've got another yoga shed. And I'll show you where we stay. So they're just rooms like this. I'll show you mine though. So we come through, everyone's got their washing hanging up. Like a lot of washing. So you enter our room. We've got towels and stuff everywhere. This is my bed. This is Claire's bed. This is Gemma's bed, and that's pretty much it. But we've got a really lovely view. Look at that, look at all the banana trees. And then in sunrise, we can just look straight out, and the sunrise is about there. It's great. So we have to prepare our own. Hurry. Oh. Are you talking to the camera? I'm like, I am talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> so it's the end of day five? Five? Yeah? Is it five? Six. 
Ended day five. Five. Ended day five. Um, and today was probably the best day yet, hey? Yes. Everyone was just like laughing heaps and... And when they asked us to say our number, everyone's number was really high. That's true. And, and everyone got ice cream. We got ice cream. <laughs> so happy. Um, it was great today. I loved it. And if it just, I feel like it's just going to keep getting better. Well, they said that after yesterday, it'll be better. But I never thought yesterday Downhill was better. No, yesterday was yesterday good. It was a good day. Maybe it's just because our group, our group is so good. Our group good. is very nice. Yeah. I do love our group. teacher trainers course here in Byron Bay. I I loved every single minute of it. The people, the teachers, the food, the experience, the the vibes, the lessons, everything. It was it was absolutely incredible. Honestly one of the best experiences of my life, which is it which is probably saying something. But yeah, I I adore it. I adore everyone that I met and I thought I'd come here and do yoga and learn about yoga and I did but I learnt so much more. I learnt <laughs> endlessly about the other people around me, the philosophies of both yoga, myself and other people and I just, I learnt so much about myself. I'm, yeah, I can't actually explain how thankful I am to have had this opportunity. <laughs> It's just awesome. So yeah, I now have to go home and finish my course. I'm not quite done yet, but hopefully I will be soon, fingers crossed. Um, I'll put my head down and hopefully get it done in the next month or so, but depends on my travels. Um, and then I'll be officially a certified yoga teacher. So that's pretty exciting. So for the time being though, I bid you farewell. And I hope that you kind of enjoyed this little thing. I'm sorry that my battery ran out halfway through and I kind of stopped filming but days were short well yeah days were short everything kind of went really quick and then the same kind of things happened every day anyway so it was just a lot of learning and a lot of fun but a lot of learning so yeah hopefully I can teach you guys soon thank you